doing some target training with everybody right now. Good boy. Yoshi over here right now. Good girl. Yoshi's probably getting a little bit better. She is was one of the most timid ones, which is right now that would be Yoshi. We got the green cheek conure. Look at her over here in a minute. Peter, our newest bird, who I taught to turn around yesterday, now just keeps on walking around in circles. <laughs> That's just like. Yeah, it's cool. He caught, he caught on in like 15 minutes, but now he just does it all the time. <laughs> Alright, silly. Come here. Touch a stick. Alright, Yoshi. Touch a stick. I'll give you such a big piece where it takes you five minutes to eat it. Yes. Jenny. Jenny's here, of course. Like always, sit down. Especially since there's food involved. All right, Peter. All right, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Good job. We got Peter's favorite treat, green apple. We try to do training, give them their favorite treat. Fortunately, green apple they all love except for kiwi. But she loves the millet, so. Uh, Alright, alright, alright. That stick. <clears throat> and I'll keep making the stick shorter so they have to keep getting closer to my hand, especially if they're ones where I'm working on them trying to get closer to me because they're because they're scared or shy. Like even you, she is no problem with that and taking the food right out of my hand. But she's still very very shy. What, you want apple? Okay, so they have that down really well, but the stick is good for so many things. If they have the targeting with the stick down, where they know stick equals treat, and also use the clicker so they know click equals treat, get a click, get a treat, you can use the stick for other things, like if you're getting them to jump on your arm or even step up if you want them to reach over your hand or if they're doing something you don't want them to do, you can distract them with a stick so they touch the stick and get a treat and avoid the situation. Better to avoid the situation and deter them instead of reacting or, or yelling at them or anything like that. It's just not going to help. Goodbye. And you want them to just touch the stick, not grab the stick. All right, let's try a little stepping up here. I'm gonna steal my treat. I'm stealing my treat. Step up. Yay! I usually try to go around so they can step back down instead of stepping backwards, but Peter just always like steps back, and he seems to be oh, be good at it. So the Quaker parrots in the other room. Quaker parrots are very cage aggressive. So if they're in this room with me, with their cage, they will go to their cage and they will just scream at everybody. I do have a video on that. Boom. Yeah, if you want to check that out on things you could do to help with situations with cage aggression. Yeah, you're spinning. You're spinning. That's not what I'm asking for. All right, step up. Oh boy. And no, 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 we're gonna step down. Good job. Yoshi, you ready? I'm gonna give you tiny bites because it takes you forever to eat. I know. All right, Yoshi, you ready? You ready, buddy? Hey, little bird. Come on, turn around. Go, go over here. Go this way. Come on. Here. Look, a treat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, step up. Step up. Yay! My clicker didn't click. Good job. All right, Peter. Let's see if you can target over my arm because you're you're very good at stepping up on my finger, but. But the arm is kind of weird about it. No, 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 no. You want to the stick, not my arm. No, no, no. Touch the stick. Good job. Weird with the arm. So I'm trying to have him touch the stick over my arm and have him know my arm's not bad and that he can go close to my arm, eventually onto my arm, and it's not a bad thing. Wanna step up? Here, touch the stick. 
Step up, touch the stick. Good job. Good girl. We no apple for you. All right, let's try this again. All right. Touch the stick. There you go. Good boy. Good boy, Peter. Spike's waiting patiently in his cage. He already, he was eating his dinner. He's ready to come out. It'll be just a minute, buddy. Let's see if we get Kiwi over here. One good thing about Peter that's making training not too bad is that he loves the apples so much that we can do this for, I usually only try to do training for about five minutes at a time so they don't get burnt out or it turns into a bad thing or something they don't like or you get tired of. But he just, he just keeps going. But I still try to not do it too long. All right, um, stick, ready? Yeah, good job, good boy. All right, one more for you, Yoshi, and I'm gonna go get Kiwi over here. All right, step up, step up, touch stick. Yeah, yeah, yay. All right, I'm gonna give you a large piece to work on while I go get your buddy, Kiwi. Kiwi. Kiwi has made some progress. I'm actually holding. Really? All right, so Kiwi's actually made some progress. He's on my finger. Still very, very. So it's one step at a time. Even if one step is just getting him to stand here only for a little while. That's better than nothing. Sometimes if he's just so not into it, then there's not much you can do. I'm gonna try one more time to get him in. I'll offer him a treat right away and see if that makes him wanna hang around. Put your right hand by your buddy, okay? He wouldn't even take the mellow from my hand either, so he's gonna have to wait till later and see if I find a better time to do it. Big Spike, there we go. Spike's favorite is probably peanuts, but we're doing, we're, we're trying to get away from peanuts because peanuts aren't good. Touch stick, Spike. What, you want some apple? Here, touch stick. Why are you being weird? There you go, good boy. So nuts in general aren't that good for birds, um, but peanuts especially. And especially peanuts in their shell because the peanut shells are definitely not good for them. And that was just one of one of his favorite things to eat before. So we are moving. We guys started giving him pistachios, and he likes those. And he can still uh, get the ones in the shells that he likes to pop open and scoop the nuts out of. So he likes those, but still we don't want to do too many nuts. I think you touched it. Nope. No. No. If they, if they, if they too, too focused on the tree, we're gonna hide the tree. You have to touch the stick. There we go. Yes. Good boy. Now you get your tree. Jenny, what, what are you, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? You touch the stick. <laughs> Good boy. Barely touched it. Touched it with his tongue. Good enough. You can start this type of training at, at any age. It's always going to be a good thing and help with a, a lot of a lot of things. Help with a lot of issues, a lot of behavioral things, and for just for training them to do tricks. Spike's 26 years old. Peter is 10, and they have learned stuff already. Like turn around. <laughs> Spike's way different than he was when we first got him. We have not had him that long. We've only had Peter for like a week. Touch the stick. Is that just stick? Good boy. Yay! Spike's really, really good at stepping up. So it's not really something he needs to learn. But it's all about the stick right now. Cockatoos can be aggressive with feet. And this could be a distraction. Like if they're going after your feet. To use the stick, distract them. It's okay, touch the stick and then you get a treat. And you're not attacking my feet anymore. Right, are you spinning, Peter? Are you turning around? Hello. You step up. Are you tired, Spike? You're just really moving kind of slow. Go back. Good boy, buddy. Oh, sorry. Good boy. Who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? 
Me, Peter's still going. He's like, let's, let's go. Need more. I'll turn around. I'll touch your stick. What are you what are you doing? You saying hi? Hi! Hi! Sometimes when they just do something randomly, I try to make that into a trick. Like yesterday, Peter turn around every once in a while. And then I, I thought I would do that because he's already doing it, kind of. But now, and that was very easy to teach him to do that. He wasn't already spinning around all the time, but he would just turn around sometimes. And then I'd be like, turn around. And then he'd then, then know that's what I was asking him to do. Hi, yay! I'm gonna feed you the clicker. <laughs> Give me that. How about one more wave? For a special treat. Ready? Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Come on. Say hi. Yay! There you go. Tater tot. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, you didn't like the grand prize. I'm, I'm out of here. All right, Quakers. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna put you up here on top of this cage. No, you're not gonna stand on top of the camera. Turn your back, Spike. Pretty good. Stay there, guys. So these guys, when we first got them, were super scared of any sticks or perches or anything. Fortunately, we've got them to where they're not anymore. Stick. Touch a stick. Yeah. <laughs> and one of them is very much more assertive than the other one. Here you go, buddy. But they're good at uh, touching the stick, stepping up. Say hi, and they'll go. Rah. They kind of can stay step up a little bit. I'll be like, hi. Hi. Quick appearance can talk is not that common, but they can be they can be good talkers. Hi. Yeah. He's he's uh yeah, he's the one who does a little better, which is Chip. Can't really tell them apart, but I can tell them apart based on their behavior. Step up. Good job. Good job, Pringle. Hey, buddy. You touch stick. You touch the stick. Boop. You step up. Good job, good job. Good job, good job. Double good job. Here, no, 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 no. Here you go. Step. No. Ba, 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 ba. Here, step up. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Okay, they can get kisses though. Kisses. Mwah. Kisses. Mwah. So we had them for two and a half months now. So hopefully their flight wings will be growing back in. The yards, one of them can actually fly up a little bit. And he's probably the one here that's acting like he's going to jump. Come on, come on, you jump. And eventually I'll start doing stuff like this where I want them to jump like that. And then get further and further. And that's when you start training them to to fly for short distances and longer and longer and whatever you're wanting to do so that'll be really exciting that'll be fun hopefully with peter as well because i mean peter can already fly but it's a little clumsy none of these birds have had uh haven't had any really training back, 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 back. what are you doing oh, good job thank you this one spike whoa what are you doing Look guys, Spike's on your cage. Watch out Spike, it's not your cage. Really? What's he doing to your stuff? <laughs>
be a little crazy here. <clears throat> One thing we'll be working on with Spike is getting him to be a little more entertained by himself. Because that's like... Kind of the I'm bored, do something with me, pay attention to me. about what you're doing come here sweetie come on okay yeah so spike likes attention he loves to hang out with somebody oh if you leave the room he freaks out like that uh, if i'm not paying attention to him and he wants attention he'll start doing something like that so i'm gonna work on trying to find some stuff that he likes that he would like to play with i might try to make him like a like some sort of tree type stand like we have downstairs but something because he, he can't really use that because it's too small for him so put some bigger branches together see if he likes something like that or because it makes it it makes it hard to i mean i can't spend all my time with just him just to make sure he doesn't start screaming that's not good not that i don't like hanging out with you but i can't be with you all the time other stuff to do other birds animals and kids and the house and yeah am i boring you all right so i'm gonna end the video there thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it very much a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated and i will see you next time goodbye